speaking of Avatar, I want to talk about Avatar 2, but not the Avatar you're thinking about. I want to talk about Avatar The Last Airbender. Not James Cameron. No, this is before no. James Cameron. I'm talking about the Nickelodeon cartoon series that they made a movie off of. It's happened before. M. Night Shyamalan Lama, Lama Ding Dong made it, and it didn't do too well. People went nuts about that. People really gave it a lot of hate. I think it's a great premise, but Netflix picked up the rights to this now, and they're developing a movie series off of this. So it's coming to Netflix, and they're going to have a whole new cast. They're redoing it. And you're like, what is this Avatar? I have no idea. Well, it's really about a world divided, everybody. There's a world divided into four nations in this. So you got the Water Tribes, you got the Earth Kingdom, the Fire Nation, and the Air Nomads. Now, each tribe can control their elements element of the of the environment so you know water tribes controlling water and so on fire at fire all that shit then you have one last airbender left who can control all the elements and be like the main master ability to bend all four elements and that's what this movie's about now it was huge nickelodeon like i said m night's adaptation didn't do well but netflix thinks they can make this happen in 2024 and I'm not really sure it should be happening. Honestly, like, I like the idea. I think it could be good if done right. And Netflix tends to figure it out a lot of times. But I'm just like, we've tried it. We've tried it. It didn't work. Do we have to keep going back to this airbender? The only avatar that's worked are blue people. Come on. Um, but, Ugh, Sean, what do you think? Are you relative. are you excited? about it, I, It's true. It's true. Sean, I, what do you think? I know I saw Sean rolling his eyes. Are you excited no, about no. the last airbender? Uh, I'm I, I I it's again not part of my nerddom. However, I do know a lot about it in terms of just how much it's appreciated and loved and has a cult following. You know, like every Comic Con I go to, there's at least a couple people that artists that are doing pictures of Ang, uh, the the Avatar himself, or Korra, or, or all these other people. And there's so much kind of uh, built up into this world that's been successful. So I can understand the interest in, in coming back and reliving it and bringing it and trying again, um, because the audience is there. Uh, they're going to probably hate it because it's not exactly what they want it to be. But again, it's still telling a, hopefully telling a good story, being faithful to the source material. Uh, as long as that, that really, you know, there's, there's one line to it that is always stuck in my craw. It's uh, everything changed the day the fighter nation invaded or something. Ooh, oh. like what a what a good opening line i'm i'm i'm, I'm interested i, I want to know right like I, again like this is for the people that have a faint interest in it i don't think the diehards are going to get behind it because they were you know uh mistreated last time but you know hey if netflix can do a good good job with it go for it um but i think that there's so much kind of wrapped up in the whole avatar airbender uh the last airbender you know uh, story that uh, it, I don't think that this is really going to hurt them, basically. Like, this is just going to get them new audience members, maybe, or new people that want to experience it, everything else that's uh, already exists. So, it's a good story. Yeah, it might be good for Netflix, but I, I agree with you. I don't, it's like people are, are kind of like fatigued by it, I think. That like you tried it before, it didn't work. You gave yep. M Night lots of money to make it, it didn't work out. Sabrina, I know you probably didn't see this. But do you think they should have let this die with M. Night? Or do you think that it, wrecked, it deserves? I mean, it has a huge fan base. So do you think that deserves another chance on Netflix? Uh, no, I, I don't. I think that there are a million <laughs> things that you could be doing aside from this. Like, go find another fucking book. Go find it. Like, I don't understand why we have to see the same thing over and over and over and over and point. over again. Great point. It's like yeah. enough is enough. Like, get a new yeah. idea. Like, I realize there's a writer's strike right now, so, like, writers aren't writing, but that doesn't mean you have to remake everything that you fucking see and make announcements about it. Like, just stop, please. It's ridiculous. Find a new fucking idea. And if there's no new idea that you like that's in a book, which seems to be what everyone wants to do, then find a fucking writer once you starve them out and take them out of their apartment and have them write you a real fucking movie that's original and new and different and awesome. Because this is just force feeding us the same shit that we rejected 52 times. If you have a child and you try to give them peaches and they don't like it, like why would you keep trying to give the child peaches? They're not going to eat the peaches. I'm not going to watch this bullshit. Okay. So stop. Peaches, Please. peaches, peaches, peaches. Also, GR, I agree uh, with you. It's a do uh, I look like a Gillifuck uh, uh, project uh, and also BSP? <laughs> no. Thank you. I'm with both of you. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I, I agree with everybody. I, I can't nope, believe it. Nope, when nope. I said peaches, I said Brian's going to sing that fucking song in my head. I said it. And I, it, it, thank you for it delivering. It came in my head right away. I'm going to say nope to this 100%.